Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, at magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Ito po ang lingkod, si Joel Makinay, and today we'll be reviewing the XT-PDX. This unit is owned by Boss Jepoy, one of a uh, well-known character in the Gel Blaster world here in GBP8 South. He owns a lot of unit, so luckily, he, oh, this was broken, so I fixed this. Uh, more details on that later. Uh, for fixing and also for review. Okay. It's really nice. Uh, this was bought from Brother Louis 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 from Time Purse for X amount of money. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to ask. But this is uh, touted as the copy of a Jing GPDX, but much cheaper. And also much better than a WDPDX. Okay, first the quality. This is a primarily nylon unit. Nylon, nylon, nylon. But there are some metal parts. The bolt release, the magazine release, the, tr the trigger. Trigger. No, not so sure about the trigger. Uh, the charging handle, the butt stock. Um, I have a battery tied to it right now, 7.4 battery. Uh, the original mag is not with me, it's just a small uh, low capacity magazine. It has a metal outer barrel and uh, also a, not a thread, cover, not cover, ah, thread connecting to the upper receiver. Uh, for this unit, it's installed with a Imperial hop up. Yeah, one of the well-known creators, manufacturers of quality airsoft and gel blaster products. Just make sure you have money if you're going to talk to him. <laughs> uh, going to hold this one uh, for quality. The trades. There's a Maxim trade here, and another trades here, and the X. The grip is so nice. The uh, grip has no trades. So, very nice. It, somewhat similar with the PDX. Uh, for the features, it has a working latch, but it was removed for this unit. Uh, magazine Prime. That one broke. You'll see the pictures later. And I was able to fix it. And, oh. Uh, it has, uh, I said already, a metal butt stock, but the battery space is very limited. It's only on the tube. So uh, that's a cons for me because you are forced to use these kind of tiny, tiny batteries. Especially this one. Avoid this one. And so you're usually forced to do like this or you can change the butt stock the whole one since you this is just a uh, not a standard thread ah. no you cannot remove it because it's supposed to be here uh limited battery storage so that's a cons for me it's a uh, single on the GNG, it's uh, ambidextrous. For this one, is only a single side on the left side. Uh, for the battery capacity, uh, the magazine capacity, since it's only the small magazine, it's also very limited. But the good thing this one is, it's, oops, it's falling down. It's, it's compatible with standard Gen 8 magazines, usually this one. And I think this is also compatible with, yep, compatible. Metal mag. Still compatible. So, nice. It's a good thing regarding compatibility. For the weight, this is a bit heavy because it has several uh, metal parts. I think it's around 2 kilos. I'm not so sure. I forgot to measure it. I'll just put it here later. I'll measure it for uh, off screen. For the FPS, it's currently around. 200, 
since this is all stock, as usual, knowing things from China, there is a leak on the cylinder head nozzle. So it's lowering the uh, FPS for this unit. So if you really want to make your unit much more efficient and less uh, leaks and fluctuating FPS, you should always use a nozzle with a double o ring. So, generate. Okay, for the range, uh, you can see my video here, uh, the source video regarding the firing of this one. You can easily hit the 10 meters range, but going further, not so much. But for this unit, since there's uh, already a half up attached, it can easily reach 20 to 30 meters. Okay. Oh, this is only a, it looks like my half of it, but it's only a bar thread cover. Because for the Imperial half up, there is a, since it's made of metal, you can easily put a thread. Uh, there's a thread. So you can put uh, heavy things on it. Or tracers. Actually, let's put a tracer. Tracers for night gaming. Uh -huh. See? Nice. <laughs> uh, price, if I'm not mistaken, is around 5,000 plus. 5, 6, something like that. Which is much cheaper than the Jing GPDX 7 to 8,000. Depending on if there's a sale or if you're buying it for a friend, it can be lower. But overall, it's cheaper than a Jing Uh Internally, uh, the issue with this one is that uh, it had a broken magazine prime prime slash blowback function. This is this one. Okay. Uh, this is the one that uh, there's supposed to be a metal part here. Metal part here that if you pull the charging handle, it will this will go back and. And there's a part here that hits the magazine prime switch but since it's broken there's no more manual prime and worst case for this person when it broke where are you a small broken part oh here it is when this broke this fell inside the gearbox leading to a what do you call this one a jam uh, the good thing is the user knew there was a jam and stopped trying to hit the trigger, so there were uh, there were no broken gears, and the lipo did not explode. If this was used by a child, this unit would have burned already. It's one of the reasons why I advocate to put a fuse or get a MOSFET that has an overcurrent protection. Uh, but knowing me, and uh, Nah, I don't want to have this kind of issues in the future. I also created a copy of the Prime unit. So there's a modification for this kind of uh, version 2 gearbox style, version 2 style gearboxes that you can still use a Prime, but the blowback is disabled. And I usually do it to my units. Especially the Simon uh, one? Uh, which was the last one? I forgot. I knew, oh, the, the infamous PDX, not PDX. M for HK416 Suge. <laughs> Very in, infamous. Uh, to prevent the, the prevent blowback and still have the manual prime. Overall, if you want to have a Jingji, EDX, but cannot afford it. This is a very good enough copy. Oh, I forgot to mention this uses a 480 style motor. So you can uh, easily buy motors that are much more powerful and easier, uh, not easier, much more available because the 460, the WPDX uses the 460 mid. This one uses the 480 long so you have lots and lots of options you know, for aftermarket parts so that's a plus for me oh and 
uh, and but the screw got lost the adjustment screw I don't know if it's the user or is it the unit I don't know anywho if you want a very nice EDX but cannot afford a Jingi this is a good choice cannot afford or cannot find a WD PDX ah, not WD a Jingi PDX because they're somewhat rare nowadays I don't know uh, in the local market here in the Philippines the Jingi SLR is very common but the PDX not so much I don't know what happened SLR is it the SLR oh god <laughs> anywho if you have any questions, suggestions, violent reactions, just put it down in the comment section down below and I will answer it as soon as possible. Hanggang sa muli. Bye! Bye!